Governor Saludo assures residents of Oboko of improved living condition. Anambra State Government condemns the assassination of President General of Umoji. Palestine Government laments over increasing numbers of deaths from Gaza war. U.S. Air Force personnel sets self on fire at Israeli embassy. Before the news in details, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good morning and welcome to the news. My name is Nonye Mokoye. Now, the governor of Anambra State, Professor Choko Masoludo, says his administration commenced work in Opoko to demonstrate commitment to the well-being of the poor, the downtrodden, and the forgotten in the state. Governor Soludo was speaking during an unscheduled inspection visit to Opoko in an Obaru local government area. The governor assured that by the time his government rounded off its projects in the area, street lights, pipe bone water, general hospital, among other amenities, will be enjoyed by the people. He recalled that his administration's free education in government schools, free antenatal care and delivery services in all government hospitals, among others, testify to his commitment to the well-being of the poor. According to a release by press secretary to the governor, Christian Aburime, Governor Soludo has received with deep concern and immense sadness the news of the brutal assassination of Mr. Silas, Onyem, Silas Onyema, President General of Umoji Community in a Demele North local government area of the state, which occurred on Friday night. The governor also extended condolences to the family of Mr. Onyema, the Umoji community, and the entire Idemele North local government area. Governor Soludo vowed to ensure that the perpetrators of the dastardly act are brought to justice. He has directed that the state security agencies take immediate and decisive action to apprehend the culprits and ensure swift prosecution of those responsible to deter future reoccurrences. A number of residents are urged to remain calm and law-abiding as the government continues to work together with security agencies to keep the perpetrators of violent crimes away from our communities and state. In order to enhance practical learning, especially for science students, the lapidated chemistry and physics laboratory buildings at Community High School Agulozibo have been renovated and commissioned through the efforts of the Transition Committee Chairman of our North Chalukwu Government Area, Chief Gerald Ozo. Our correspondent, Kenechuko Chukode, has more on the story. We wish you eternal life and we wish you a success life. Welcome. Speaking during the commissioning, the principal secretary to Governor Chukwu Masoludo, Barista Joaquin Aneto, who advised students of the school to be focused in their academic pursuit, promised to ensure that the laboratories and other structures in the school are well equipped and also promised to institute an academic award in the school as a motivation for the students. These laboratories we produce nuclear physicists. We produce neurosurgeons, Amen. Amen. all scientists, yes, everything for the benefit of our children. Yes, I have to thank the Anwarchal Local Government Council because without their support, this project will not be a friction. In his remark, the Anwarchal Local Government TC Chairman Chief Ozo appreciated Governor Soludo for the visible difference he is making in the education alive. sector with employment and improved welfare of teachers, free education, and other critical interventions. The only governor that doesn't deal with education, the governor we are learning from his footsteps, 
The only man that noticed the decay in the education sector and they employed over 5,000 teachers. And presently, he's recruiting 3,000 teachers. I'm talking of the governor that noticed the suffering of our people and said, no more paying for antenatal for our pregnant mothers. The principal of the school, Mrs. Celestina Ubiechina, who appreciated Chief Ozo for the intervention, however, called for concerted efforts from well-meaning members of Agulizibo community to equip the laboratories and provide other learning infrastructure for the school. May the almighty God bless you and your team in many folds in Jesus' name. Amen. I am equally using this medium to appeal to the well-known individuals our distinguished ladies and gentlemen to come to our assistance in providing laboratory tables and other apparatus needed in the lab for the effective use and functioning, and functioning. especially now YEC examination is to take off. A board member of the Post-Primary School Service Commission, Oka, Dr. Uche Okeke, Reviewed that the school's laboratories and that of other schools in the state will be equipped through the intervention of Governor Chukwu Masuludo and re echoed the need for individuals to support the upliftment of quality education in the state. The chairman of All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, in Anota local government area, Chief Anthony Ugoji, thanked the state government and the Anota TC chairman for their developmental programs in the council area, while the engineer that handled the project. Mr. Ike Chuku Ozo stated that the structure will stand the test of time. The ceremony featured commissioning and tour of the laboratories as well as dance performances by the students. Later, the Anota TC chairman, Chief Ozo, and his entourage proceeded to acquire the market where the Anambra State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Afam Obidike, laid foundation for lock-up shops that will be built in the market. From another council area, it's been Kenetuku Chukwodi for EBS News. The Deputy Commander General, DCG of the Nigerian Hunters and Forest Security Service, NHFSS, in charge of technical services, Mr. John Meche, has commended the Commissioner of Police, Anambra State Command, Mr. Aderemi Adeoye, for the cordial working relationship with, between the police and the hunters in the state. Mr. Meche gave the commendation while speaking to newsmen on the court visit by the Anambra State Command of the NF, NHFSS to the police commissioner, which took place at the police command's headquarters, Amobia. We have details of the report. He described CP Adeoye as one of the finest security officers one can find anywhere in the world and said that the police commissioner's leadership gallantry and the motivation he gives to officers and men under his command had led to drastic reduction in crimes and criminalities in Anambra State. According to Mr. Michi, who is also the Prime Minister of the Anambra State Association of Tan Unions, ASATU, CP Adeoye's willingness to receive and share intelligence with the Army, the DSS, and other sister security agencies as well as local community leaders was responsible for the peace being enjoyed in Anambra State currently under Professor Chukwuma Suludo, DCG Michi, on behalf of the Commander General of the Nigerian Hunters and Forest Security Service, Dr. Wale Joshua Osatimei, thanked me, Mr. Joshua Jonas, said they were also there to seek ways towards fostering peaceful and operational coexistence. Responding, Mr. Adere me Adoye welcomed, appreciated, and expressed the light on the visit. The CP also um, the CP also unveiled a strategic action plan, which includes intelligence-led policing, community and stakeholders partnership, interagency collaboration, zero tolerance on corrupt practices, strict adherence to the rule of law, and lawful discharge of duties without fear of fear in the Israeli prisons have been subjected to unprecedented retaliatory and punitive measures since the beginning of the war. Reporter to the occupied Palestinian territory, Francisca Albansi. This is not new, as Israel has denied entry to all special reporters in the past. This is an essential part of Israeli policy that has been in place for a long time. 
we should stop talking about the two-state solution as if it is where a new invention. The two-state solution is the core of the 181 resolution that was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in 29 November 1947 known as the Partition Plan of Palestine. There have been several attempts by the United Nations to cajole both sides to end the war to no avail, especially as the fighting resumed unabated after a temporary truce was brokered some weeks ago in Abuja. Princess Ekwi Ajide reporting. Hey, so George joining us. This is ABS Television News. We take a short break here for some commercial messages. We'll return after now. Do join us again. Ready for school? Yes! My champs, they use energy at school. I know because imagine the energy they may have used up. To return home, this transform every day. Your champs need nourishing energy. Give them the new and improved mellow at breakfast. It has nutrients that support energy release to help champs get the most out of their active days. You're welcome back to the rest of the news. Now, a man has set himself on fire in front of the Israeli embassy in Washington, D.C. U.S. emergency services say the incident happened at about 1 p.m. local time on Sunday. The city's fire department reported that officers from the U.S. Secret Service extinguished the flames before the man was taken to hospital with critical life-threatening injuries. A U.S. Air Force spokeswoman was later quoted by U.S. media as saying the man was an active duty airman. The Washington Police Department is now investigating alongside the Secret Service and other relevant authorities. And the Nationwide League One has announced a mandatory pre-competition medical assessment for all the players in the division. The medical assessment is planned to take place from Tuesday, March 5 till Friday, April 5, 2024. Medical parameters and requirements regarding health and as well as any medical checks will be carried out on, on, on them to ensure fitness of the players. All the players have been urged to comply with the exercise to ascertain their medical fitness and preparedness for the upcoming season. And with that story, we come to the end of the news. But remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page. Follow us at Tanambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television, Oka on X at ABS Radio TV, and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. On the main news again, Governor Saludo has reassured residents of Opoko of improved living condition. Anambra State Government has condemned the assassination of President General of Omoji. Palestine Government has lamented over increasing numbers of deaths from Gaza war. And from the foreign scene, we brought you reports that U.S. Air Force personnel has set self on fire at Israeli embassy. The special message once again, Governor Chukoma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's continue to give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's the news. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nonye Mokoye. Do have a beautiful day.